Saturday Dave's Cooking Show, and today, um, kind of in response to all the cops getting shot everywhere, I've decided to make a little burger. It is my Blue Lives Matter burger. First thing we're going to need to do for this burger is we're going to need to make a topping. So what you want to do is you want to grab a pan, and you want to, well, uh, first, start the pan off on... Get your thing going. Alright, now that that's out of the way, and we want to crank this down to medium. Get that pan heated up, and you want to get some olive oil. About a teaspoon, but I'm just eyeballing it. Then, take two small onions, or about a half of a large one, or however you get, you get, you end up to, at a cup of onions. I'm just using these small ones here, and you just wanna Chopping is not my strong suit. I'm sure a bunch of people right now are going, You stupid son of a bitch! You don't know how to chop! You don't know how to chop! Yeah, well... Don't worry, you're gonna lose a lot anyway. It's not like I'm in a fucking competition for onion chopping. And we'll do about a half an onion more. About halfway down. These little onions are a little tougher. Pull this off. I'm sure right now if Gordon Ramsay's seen this, see, okay, this is a little closer to a chopped onion. I'm sure Gordon Ramsay seen me, he'd call me a fucking dumbass American wanker or something. Okay, so. See, but I can do that. Then, you want to get two cloves of garlic, and put them in your masher. And in to this shit they go. Now remember, if you keep garlic whole, it's uh, a lot less potent. When you mash it like this, oh brother, does the flavor get 
exhumed. So you're going to want to cook these until they're about translucent. And let's see if we can get a little more in that. There we are. Okay, so you're going to want to cook this shit until it's about translucent. So about four to five minutes. So why don't you... So why don't everybody enjoy a little clip? And I will be back with the other ingredients for this shit. Okay, Bonnie, go get it. It's in the closet. Brian! Brian, come out here. What are you doing? I'm reading. What? 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 What are you reading? Well, I was just finishing Jonathan Franzen's book. You know, I'll admit it has its moments, but it's completely overrated. I mean, I'm not saying I wrote something similar to it several years ago, but I am saying... <laughs> uh, what, 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 hey, what are you doing? Hey! His paws, hey! Hold uh, still! Hey, what, Push him down no, on the all floor. What are you doing? If he really starts do freaking out, put your pinky in his butt. Uh, 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 <laughs> All right, I guess this is the night bitches die. Okay, we are back. And uh, continuing on with our Blue Lives Matter burger. We're going to need some blue cheese. Staple of any burger. So you're going to want to add a four ounce container of blue cheese to approximately a half a cup of mayo. Then, want to add these, this onion and garlic mixture. Mmm. I'm, I'm telling you, it is a crime. Absolute crime that you guys do not have smell-o-vision with YouTube. Fuck captions. <laughs> Sorry, deaf people, but fuck captions. Give me smell of vision Then, pepper to taste. Now, I like pepper, so I'm going to add probably a little bit more than your average jackass. And then uh, just mix this up a little bit. Alrighty, I think that's good. Nice little consistency. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. Hopefully I haven't moved it out too much. And then we'll uh, put this back in the fridge so we can harden back up. And I'll be back to uh, show you how to make the burgers proper. Alright, we are moving right along with our Blue Lives Matter burger. We're going to make up some spices for it. Get yourself a big bowl. And what you want? Tablespoon freshly ground black pepper. Half a tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of chili powder, tablespoon of paprika, tablespoon of kosher salt, tablespoon onion powder, tablespoon of garlic powder. Give all this a stir. Moving right along with our uh, Blue Lives Matter burger. For all the cops out there, that one's for you. Alrighty, let's season these burgers up. Be generous when you season for the grill, of course, because you're going to lose about 30 to 25 percent of your seasoning when you flip it. So don't really worry too much about over seasoning it. All right, and of course, when we're doing beef and burgers, we like a nice piping hot grill of at least 500 degrees.
season the other side of course. Again, be generous. Blue Lives Matter burgers are cooking right along. Now, this is where the school of thoughts on grilling differ by quite a bit. There's some that think that you should only flip once. I tend to be somebody who I like to flip my burgers. I do. Yeah, I know, especially with freshly ground ones like this, I do run the big risk of them falling apart. But honestly, if you're gentle, they should stay together. And, uh, you know, that cheese will help everything come back together. And we'll make some bacon cheddar cheese. That's the cheese I've decided for this Blue Lives Matter burger. We're gonna go two slices per burger. Do you think that's excessive? Eh, fuck you. Come on, let us get them off the grill. Our bun sufficiently to oh yes she is almost burnt okie dokie let's assemble a burger first thing we want lettuce like so our patty just like that Couple of pickles. Because it makes everything better. Bacon. And remember that sauce we made? Well, we're gonna put it on right now. Grab the top bun. Spoon a, oh, a generous amount of this on the top. And boom, there is your Blue Lives Matter burger. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, mmm. That is good. Till next time, this has been Dave's Cooking Show.